In this video, I'm going to show how the interchangeable bottom bracket adapter system works on the Cobra Frame Building Creator Frame Fixture. Uh, I'm going to show the formula that you would use to figure out how many of these spacers to put behind the bottom bracket adapter, depending on your bottom bracket shell, and uh, I'm going to give some examples of how that actually works. The frame fixture holds all of the different parts of the frame 210 millimeters off of this face. So the center line of the tubes, the center line of the bottom bracket, the center of the, your rear hub or your dummy axle, all that stuff sits 210 millimeters off of this face. And so a cone, uh, a pilot diameter, these things are easy. Those don't move and change depending on your frame specification. The rear dummy axle holder, those all sit in the same spot relative to this 210 millimeter distance, but the bottom bracket shell, that one is held by the outside face. So if you have the drive side in version or the drive side out version of the fixture, we offer it both ways. Uh, the shell face that's closer to the fixture gets supported by the bottom bracket adapter, right? And uh, that becomes a registration surface. So if you have a wider or a narrower bottom bracket shell, you need a different adapter in order to keep that bottom bracket shell centered in the frame. So there's a lot of bottom bracket standards, as we all know, and I make different adapters that allow the fixture to play nice with those. And we have English, T47, press fit, whatever, mid, there's a whole bunch of different specs. Uh, if it's out there, we do support it or we will support it, or if it's super weird, we can make customs. And so the way these work is that the inside diameter of all these different specs is uh, what this pilot diameter is made to support with the right amount of clearance. And so this one here is for BSA or English thread. Uh, this one here is T47 and they're flip flop. So the T47 is just going to support T47, but this one here is for 86.5 and 91.5 millimeter bottom bracket shells. Or this English one is for 68 and 73 millimeter bottom bracket shells. You choose the number that's the one that you want and you put that closer to your bottom bracket shell uh, or you flip it over for the other specification. They're two for one. That's how these work. So what complicates this is that we don't just have lots of options for bottom bracket standards, it's that also welding and brazing, these metalworking processes for metal bikes, they will distort our precision surfaces, our interfaces like bottom brackets and head tubes. So we start with the head, uh, bottom bracket shell over width and under diameter, and then we use like our park tool, reamer face or chaser tools to bring them into, uh, machine them into final dimension after we're done. If we start with a, let's say, 74 millimeter wide bottom bracket shell for a 73 millimeter finished bottom bracket, and if we don't center that bottom bracket shell in the fixture as we're building, then when we're done, we can't remove a little bit of material from this side and a little bit of material from this side to get it centered up. Uh, if, if instead uh, we have, let's say, uh, provisions to center a 73 millimeter bottom bracket shell, but we put in a 74 millimeter bottom bracket shell, and now we want to do finished machining off of either side to bring them square into each other, our bottom bracket shell won't be centered in the frame. So we need a way to center up that bottom bracket shell, however it is, in the frame, whether it's half a millimeter over width or a whole millimeter over width. So even though the situation is kind of obnoxiously complicated, so many options for bottom brackets and different allowances for cleanup stock, it's actually pretty simple if you use this formula. S equals parentheses N minus B over two. S equals the spacer stack. That's how many of the quarter millimeter spacers you're gonna use, the spacers that we provide. N equals the named width of the adapter. That's what's engraved on there. So we have, for instance, 74. For 73 millimeter nominal width bottom brackets, you would use the 74 adapter. So that's the named width. And B equals the beginning width of the shell. So a 73 millimeter finish with bottom bracket, you would probably start with a 73 and a half or a 74 millimeter shell. Let's plug some numbers into this formula to see how many spacers we need to use. So let's solve for S. How many of our spacers are we gonna use? In this case, N, the named width of the adapter, 74. It says 74 right on it. We laser engrave that. B, the beginning width of the shell, it'll be 73 and a half. That's how we got our shell from Paragon Machine Works. 
n minus b is half a millimeter divided by two is a quarter millimeter. So our spacer stack of quarter millimeter, that's one spacer, they are one quarter of a millimeter. We will use one spacer behind our bottom bracket adapter. So here's another example. We're building a bike out of composite materials. The shell width uh, is already the finished dimension when we start. So let's say we're using the named width 69 bottom bracket width adapter. Our shell width is beginning at 68. That's one millimeter of difference divided by two is half a millimeter. We need to use two quarter millimeter spacers to equal half a millimeter of thickness on our spacing stack. I'll give one more example. So let's say you had a 101 millimeter bottom bracket shell and you had a 101 adapter. So 101 minus 101 is zero. You can divide zero by two, it's still zero. You don't use any spacers. So if you have a full one millimeter oversized bottom bracket shell, you don't need to use a spacer with the corresponding adapter. So obviously this is a product that I make and sell. I'm very proud of it. We have an overview video. It's a doozy. Uh, this thing is sweet. Check that video out if you haven't already seen it.